And one of the things that I like most about the mind is its ability to look at things from multiple perspectives. And last week, David took us on uh, going through the mind and looking at thinking from a spatial perspective of different spaces or areas that we could think about. So we could think about, you know, a few different areas like our own thinking, we could think about our feelings, we could think about the physical world, or we could think about the invisible world, the spiritual reality. And that stimulated me into looking at it from another perspective, which is from the perspective of time and thinking related to a, a time linear aspect. And we all know the basic time linear, right? That's like past, present, future. You just break them down into three categories. And if we're thinking about the past, if our mind is living in the past, then that's not really the reality. You know, we can also be like thinking about the present, about what is, and then our mind is, say, living out of the present. But in the present, there's, uh, there's limits. There's just what is. There's what's present and what's available. It is this, and it's not that. Otherwise, that would be present instead of this. And so there are limitations out of just thinking that's based out of what's present available. And there is a difference between the mind's living out of the present and being present. Because even though there's that timeline of past, present, and future, say memory, attention, and imagination, if our mind is undisciplined, that means sort of unconscious, operating without our conscious choice or intentionality or choosing it to do this, and it's randomly going into the past and randomly going into the future, thinking about some possible thing that could happen or imagining this other thing, but without you like placing it there, then that's the undisciplined mind. That's daydreaming and that's random memory. <clears throat> and that gets out in the way of being fully present with the attention. Because in this moment, this is the moment we always live in. And it's the moment that we have to be able to take our attention and make a choice with it. Make a choice about where we want to be thinking. Not just having things come up randomly. When we are thinking into the future, which is a realm of possibility and potential, beyond what's actually present here in this moment, it's what could be. What could be is not limited by what is or what was. What could be is using the imagination intentionally, consciously to reach out and live out of a future potential, not what is. This is the realm of dreaming, of visioning, of putting yourself within the mind into a space and living from a space of what could be a time relationship of potential, not what is. And what happens when we do this is that there's something that opens up every time we intentionally use our imagination. Because the realm of potential and possibility is also that realm of spirituality, of infinite absolute reality, that anything is possible. So that higher part of ourself that sees us beginning to live out of something that's not present here now begins to give us little bits of energy and information of how we could make that possible. It inspires us 
to take this action, to say this word, to do this thing, to make this choice that maybe otherwise we wouldn't have if we were just living out of the box of what is and what has been. Because it might not hold a potential that we can see. But when we open up through our imagination, create a visualization, dreaming into what could be, it activates this reciprocity from spirit, from that potential, and helps guide us to how we could bring that into what is. And isn't that what a creator is about? Being a creator? It's not just living with what is and just responding and reacting, only relating to the outer world as it's manifesting, or getting lost in imagine or in memory, constantly comparing what is with what was and judging whether it's good enough or not. If something already is, you don't have to create it. It already is. A creator's job is bringing something out of what could be into what is. And that requires reaching out with the mind, thinking and living in the dream realm of what could be. Letting yourself be there and being open to what comes back from spirit, from the potential. It'll guide you there because you're the creator creating it and the entire universe is co-creating with you. Thank you.